name is Cynthia Hall, and I'm the Community Coordinator for NASA's Earth Science Data Systems Program. Our program wants to make sure you have everything you need to access the petabytes of free and open Earth Science data from NASA. We want to help researchers like yourself harness Earth Science data for biological diversity and ecological forecasting. In the Learn section on the Earth Data website, we provide a bunch of great resources to help you get started with remote sensing data. These resources include backgrounders, like what is remote sensing, a resource for those new to satellite or airborne observations. This backgrounder provides information on types of orbits, the electromagnetic spectrum, the different kinds of sensors, different resolutions, and information on data processing and interpretation. Or take a look at the Essential Variables Backgrounder, which provides information on key variables for areas of climate, ocean, biodiversity, and geodiversity, and how NASA Earth observation data can help in the assessment and monitoring of those variables. Now that you have some background information, let's get started with your data discovery path. For users who don't really know where to begin with using NASA data and ecological research, so more novice data users, we have a new data pathfinder in the Learn section. The pathfinder is on biological diversity and ecological forecasting. Data pathfinders provide direct links to commonly used data sets across NASA's Earth Science data collections. Each pathfinder has an about the data section, which provides information about every data set in the pathfinder. The section provides the measurement taken by each of the sensors, as well as the spatial and temporal resolution. This information will be useful when determining which data set to use in your research. Use the data provides information on how the data are currently being used for planning and decision making. For example, the Biological Diversity Pathfinder has various stories of data users using NASA data directly or indirectly in their research or decision making process. One story you might have heard of is satellite based penguin surveys using high-resolution Landsat and detecting the guano left behind by penguins. This is the data portal for that team showing nesting trends of different types of penguins. This information ensures that businesses, conservationists, and other stakeholders conduct their operations with as little impact as possible on the Antarctic ecosystem. The benefits and limitations section provides insight into considerations when determining whether or not to use remote sensing data. Lastly, each pathfinder has associated resources, both from NASA as well as outside sources. The biological diversity and ecological forecasting data pathfinder is divided into four primary sections, depending on your focus area vegetation characteristics and processes data, includes measurements that aid in our assessment of vegetation condition. For example, there are me measurements of vegetation greenness or the normalized difference vegetation index, NDVI, evaporative stress index, and water use efficiency. Measurements within the Pathfinder include canopy height and vertical structure of the forests. Other data sets included aid in the delineation and conservation of protected areas and assessment of biomass of groups and individuals. Biodiversity related spectroscopy data focuses on hyperspectral remote sensing, which is a uniquely powerful technique for mapping and studying biodiversity. Hyperspectral data allow for the direct detection of species presence, species distributions and abundances, and prevalence of invasive species. This section provides direct link to NASA hyperspectral data, as well as links to numerous databases listing spectral signatures of plants and other natural surfaces. 
Human impacts data includes information useful in studying habitat fragmentation due to agriculture, deforestation, urbanization, and other land cover changes, the effects of nighttime lights on predator-prey interactions, and socioeconomic data like population size and density. Species distribution modeling data includes data that can be used in correlative species distribution or habitat suitability models using in situ species presence or absence data and remote sensing climatological or geological variables. These variables include measurements for precipitation, topography or elevation, sea surface temperatures or land surface temperatures, and changes in land use and land cover, ocean color, and many more. The Pathfinders also provide a section on tools for data access and visualization with a brief introduction to each tool within the Pathfinder, including tools from the Earth Observing System Data and Information System, or EOSTIS, from the Distributed Active Archive Centers, or DACs, as well as from partner agencies when applicable. Links to webinars or tutorials when using the tools are provided for you to delve deeper. Earth Data Search is a tool for data discovery of NASA's Earth observation data collections. Users, including those without specific knowledge of the data, can search for and read about the different data collections. I can type my keyword directly into the search box, or I can choose a, from a list of keywords. I can also search by platform, instrument, organization, processing level, and so on. For example, if I know I want MODIS ocean color data, I can type in ocean color and select MODIS from my list of instruments and all of the relevant data collections are shown. I can further filter by searching for data files by date, spatial area. I can preview browse images and then download or submit requests for data files with customization for select data collections. Worldview is a visualization application that provides the capability to interactively browse full resolution satellite imagery layers and then download the underlying data. Many of the available imagery layers are updated within three hours of observation, essentially showing the Earth as it looks right now. For example, today is July 22nd, and as the data become available, they are added into Worldview. This supports time critical application areas. You can add layers via hazards and disasters thematic areas or by science disciplines. Let's say I want to look at ecological data. I can go to Biosphere, select a data set of choice. I'm going to select amphibian richness, all threatened species. This data set provides information on the number of threatened amphibian species present at a one kilometer spatial resolution, which can be used in modeling efforts, wildlife conservation planning, natural resource management, policy making, biodiversity studies, and human environment interactions. There are also numerous tools from NASA's DAX that provide ways to subset, visualize, and export the data. 
Cole from the LPDAC will talk about the many capabilities of the Appears tool. And Jess from the Oak Ridge National Laboratory DAC will demo their soil moisture visualizer and their spatial data access tool. If you're familiar with using NASA Earth Science data, so I'm more of an expert data user, another new resource is our Biological Diversity Data Toolkit. Toolkits contain links to data sets, tutorials and how-tos, feature articles and data user profiles, as well as a lot of other useful information. There is not a lot of guidance on which data set might be best or on resolutions and the like. There are just direct links to data sets and Earth Data Search are at one of our DACs. Finally, for information about how others are using NASA Earth Science data in their research or application, view our data user profiles or biodiversity feature articles. NASA Earth Data's wealth of data discovery and data access resources such as the data pathfinders, data toolkits, and other resources are designed to help you find, access, and use NASA or science data, which can help in your research or your organization's decision-making process. Come explore earthdata.nasa.gov.